Pentagon says the noose is tightening around Osama bin Laden. It's believed he may be hiding in a fortified complex of caves near the Pakistani border. If that's true, then a new weapon developed and tested here in southern Nevada may be just what the military needs to get him. Some might call it the cave buster. George Knapp of the I-Team is here with the exclusive story. George. Gary and Paula, no one at Nellis will talk about this on the record. When we asked about cave buster technology being tested here, the only thing the Air Force would say is, quote, it's classified. But off the record, military sources say they've come up with some amazing high-tech toys in the Nevada desert, weapons that may already be in Afghanistan. The vast expanse of the Nellis Range has contributed mightily to military preparedness. Nellis is known far and wide as the training ground for the world's best fighter pilots. War games conducted on the range have helped the military perfect the use of assorted armaments. The stealth fighter was unveiled here for the first time. And the world's only Predator unit is based at Indian Springs, the Predator being a high-tech unmanned drone already in use in Afghanistan. And now comes word that something new, something deadly, has been developed on the Nellis Range. Looks like on good heading. Zooming in. What you're watching is video from a camera situated in the business end of a smart bomb. This once classified footage was recorded by the Army. Like the newer Air Force version from Nellis, this bomb can be guided by remote control into any target, say a tank. The Army version of this weapon could be fired from the ground. Military sources tell the I-Team the Air Force version can be dropped from a plane like any other gravity bomb. But with new modifications, it can be guided using both information from global satellites and the video stream which personnel on the plane can watch, then send signals causing the bomb to slow down, speed up, and zero in. Part of probable target, zooming in, hostile UH-1. The existence of so-called smart bombs is nothing new. The website of the Federation of American Scientists provides several details about different models. Basically, modern munitions can be customized depending on the mission. They're built so that cameras can be added, rocket engines, fins, like a deadly high-tech Mr. Potato Head. A smart bomb expert at the Federation told us they've heard rumors about the type of cave buster that's been tested at Nellis, but nothing firm until now. Some military experts describe the cave fortresses of Afghanistan as virtually impregnable. B-52s aren't going to do it. It has uh, zigzag tunnels. It has rooms off. You probably have a sleeping room. You have a munitions room. You have a food stores room. Certainly the caves that, were, that have been built by them are hardened, tough caves. It's impossible to fight against uh, people inside caves by uh, ordinary weapons. It's absolutely impossible. Sources say the Nellis Cave Buster is tailor-made for such a challenge. Make no mistake, other weapons in the U.S. arsenal could be used too. Giant so-called daisy cutters to pound the caves near their entrances. Other smart bombs that will cause the cave to crumble within. But this new version, we're told, will fly right into the cave itself. Just as pilots can guide it toward targets on the ground or in the air, military sources say the Nellis Cave Buster can be flown right into the cave and perhaps even maneuvered somewhat once it's in there. Right roll, zoom in, have target, lock on. We do not have footage of the Nellis Cave Buster in action. This Army video, while interesting, is probably outdated. But judging from what could be done even a few years ago, and from what our sources tell us, the newly customized Nevada Smart Bomb could be the last thing Osama bin Laden ever sees. Our sources say the testing at Nellis of this modified technology, which we're told also may include thermal capabilities, was completed as of November 18th. And from that point, the cave busters were to be shipped to Afghanistan. We're not certain, but it would be our guess that this means they are already there and ready for action. Mm. So Nellis won't talk about any of this testing here. Is there any official confirmation? Well, I'd say we do have confirmation in a sense. You know, if we, we asked Nellis if they would comment on the testing of Cave Buster technology, their response was, we can't, it's classified. And uh, I told them that sounds like confirmation to me, and they sort of chuckled and then, then they repeated, as a matter of policy, we won't comment on classified weapons testing at the base. But it sounds like this stuff is ready to go, and I hope they can make a, an announcement about it sometime soon, because I yeah. think there would be a certain amount of pride at Nellis oh, and within Nevada. Center. 
about this technology. Great. Fascinating, George. Thank you, George. Sure.